What's up travelers? Once again, we are in Portland, Oregon at the Fork Fairview Food Plaza. We were here a couple weeks ago, had some amazing briskets and gravy, but we came back because there were a couple other places that I wanted to check out. So let's go get it. My name's Anthony Harding. This is Tasting Travel. Welcome to the show. We are currently, at the time of recording this video, at 2,095 subscribers. We are five away from 2,100, and we are on our mission to get to 5,000 subscribers. Please, if you enjoy this video, give it a like, hit that subscribe button, and that notification bell so YouTube will let you know whenever we upload a new video. Grateful to you. Let's get on with the show. So we are sitting here waiting for our first order. We went over to Bon Me Fusion PDX where I ordered a bulgogi steak Bon Me sandwich and a fresh mango fruit smoothie. So that sounds like it's going to be pretty good. Can't wait till we get it. So we just got our amazing looking food here. I got this uh, awesome bulgogi sandwich. It's Korean Vietnamese fusion. He also threw in some crab puffs and some pot stickers. We got this mango smoothie. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's not too sweet, not too sour. Just the perfect mango smoothie right there. So let's try out some of these appetizers first. It's like uh, we got some some pot sticker sauce here. What that smell like? And so let's try one of these pot stickers. Yeah, it's just what you expect out of a out for flavor out of a pork pot sticker. It's. Uh, Nothing really special, but it is very, very good. So we got some sweet and sour sauce here as well. Let's try that with one of these crab puffs. Mm. That filling in there, nice cheesecake and crab, it's just a it's a great combination and then with the crunchiness of the of the wonton that is absolutely amazing now let's get into this sandwich here this is pretty much the star of the show at this moment in time so we got pickled carrots cilantro uh, cucumber the jalapeno wedges we got that that bulgogi steak down there there's supposed to be some grilled onions and uh yeah that just looks like a phenomenal sandwich let's get into it before we add any spice to it just to make sure we need it <laughs> lost our jalapeno there <laughs> Mm. Okay, not gonna lie, was expecting the, the meat to be warmer than it is, but it seems like it is cold meat. Well, uh, that's okay. Uh, it's still very, very delicious. The jalapeno, it, it's just got a little tiny bit of spice to it. The cilantro it, and the, the pickled carrots just has that feeling of being in Vietnam, sitting on the street, eating a bon mi. That's really good. It doesn't really have any Korean flavors to it. It's more all Vietnamese flavors. Something that's making me really happy. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I definitely needed this sandwich in my life. When you come to the fork, would 
should you come and check out the Bon Me Fusion PDX place, I will leave a link in the description. But I'm saying if you're wanting a good sandwich, that is a place to get one. It is pretty awesome. Definitely the best Bon Me I have had outside of Vietnam. <laughs> Boils and ghouls, it's your old pal, the Crypt Keeper, to remind you to join Tasting Travel on a trip around the world to visit some killer restaurants. <laughs> Strike that subscribe button down below. If you don't, you fright well be making a grave mistake. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is Future Me. I am currently going through a lot of busy times right now, a lot of changes going on in my life. So I am going to dial it back to a video every one or two weeks instead of every one week for a while. We'll see how that goes. And once I'm done doing what I am doing, I am going to start adding some uh, different types of content along with what I am already currently doing. It's going to be some pretty exciting stuff. More than likely going to be a travel agent while we are making our content. So. I am going to start going and reviewing hotels and all kinds of stuff like that. It should be pretty interesting. Now back to the video. So we just ordered at Cart Ilocandia. Uh, it is a Filipino place. I just ordered their Pinoy spaghetti with chicken. Probably be pretty interesting. Kind of like the spaghetti that you get at Jollibee more than likely. If you haven't had Jollibee spaghetti I highly recommend it. I also got a lumpia and a banana lumpia. That is Filipino spaghetti. It's got sausage and interesting looking noodles with cheese and sauce and then and go over here, you got your garlic chicken, some lumpia, and then a banana lumpia. This smells absolutely amazing, and I imagine it is going to taste fantabulous. Got my trusty fork here, and let's go ahead and dig into some of this garlic chicken. <laughs> right off the bat it is super super crispy got an amazing flavor to it the garlic isn't overpowering you can tell it's there but it's like just the perfect amount it's really really good but no that crunch is just so satisfying mm. we got the lumpia here and uh, some sweet and some sweet and sour sauce. Mm -hmm. Lumpia, probably the best egg roll in the world. Mm. Yeah, that is so good. Pork carroty goodness. It's nice and crispy. Just oh uh, yeah. All right, now let's get into the spaghetti here. I want to just kind of show you this. This sausage, it's kind of like cut up hot dog. <laughs> uh, I'm not, not sure what it is. I'm sure it's some sort of a Filipino sausage. Nice savory. Oh wow, that is hot food. <laughs> we got a nice mix of sauce and cheddar and that sausage and the noodles. That's pretty damn good spaghetti. So I was kind of expecting it to be kind of sweet like uh, like Jollibee's is. They went more the savory route here. Uh, it's uh, opening my eyes to see that 
there is, I'm sure, if you go to the Philippines, there is a lot of different flavors that can be had with their spaghetti over there. But I absolutely love the color of these noodles there. <laughs> that is just awesome. I mean, there there is still some sweetness here, but it's just not as sweet as as I was expecting it to be. Definitely good though. I'm enjoying this a lot. I will for sure. Again, I always leave the links uh, down in the description for all the the places that I visit. So if you want to come check this place out and try the spaghetti for yourself, I highly recommend you do. Uh, Go check it out in the description. I think I'm gonna go for one more bite before I head home, but we still got that banana lumpia to check out, so we're gonna have to do that too. Those noodles are hot though. All right, so here we got this banana lumpia. That well, was about eight inches long. Uh, Looks absolutely delicious, so let's check it out. So basically they just took a banana, wrapped it up in, in wonton paper, deep fried it, and then put some like honey or something on it. It is really good. It might not even be wonton. It might actually be like uh, the waffle from a waffle cone. That might actually be what that is. It was awesome though. If you have enjoyed this video, I hope that you have. We're so close to 2,100 subscribers. We're on our way to 5,000. So please subscribe, hit that like button. Uh, it really does help out. Uh, it gets YouTube to show our video to other people who haven't seen my content yet. And I would be eternally grateful for you if, if you help me out in that way. But uh, as always, eat great food.